I think for many people, the best use of an LA-2A, of course, is on vocals. My good friend Mark Ender swears by it, and he really got me into it a few years ago. So here I have a vocal which is incredibly dynamic. It was recorded with zero compression on. It was actually the demo vocal for the verse, and it ended up winning and never got beaten. So if you ever listen with the FG-2A turned off, you can see how the words just disappear. You've got another life that's taking its toll on you. I can feel you fading. Never one thing at a time. There's always something left behind. And there, the opposite. You have words that disappear, and at the very end, it just gets super, super loud. There's something about the classic LA-2A that doesn't sound choked when it works. I'm not quite sure why that is, but I think it's one of the characteristics of why people love hearing it on vocals. So let's now just put on the FG2A and have a listen. The way I've got it set up is I've got a decent amount of peak reduction going on on those super loud ones with hardly anything happening on the quiet ones. So it's really bringing those louder stuff in, but it's allowing me to add more gain and get a more even volume. I'm also being aggressive. I'm using it on limit rather than compress. You've got another life that's taking its toll on you. I can feel you fading. Never one thing at a time. There's always something left behind. It's pretty miraculous. And I think that that is a characteristic of an LA-2A. For me, it's always been vocals, and strangely enough, percussion have always been a wonderful thing. And then, of course, it's probably equally as famous for being on a bass guitar. But I always remember Dave Jordan saying to me that whatever you do on vocals with compression works really well on bass guitar. 